Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to do another speed build. The speed build is from an inspired photo from a houseplant website. Uh, it basically has this brick exterior. At first I wanted to use the get to work expansion pack together with this build but I realized like the expansion pack doesn't really have that much suitable objects so I just ended up using base game I think. I initially did the second floor layout to be exactly the same with the first floor but I changed it at the end because it doesn't look nice at the back. The picture has only the front of the house but not the back of the house so I had to like figure it out myself but I think it ended up quite nice. I think this house is supposed to be big but after I built the house I don't really think that the interior is that big. One thing I feel special about this house is the entrance. It has this roof place. Generally, the shape or the design of this entrance just makes it look different. And of course, it looks really pretty too. So this house is a brick house and I basically just use bricks everywhere including the entrance, the stairs, the exterior wallpaper, everything is just bricks. The interior of this house is really similar with the inspired picture. This was supposed to be the dining room and at the end of the build, I feel like this dining room is really big and the kitchen is really small. I guess I should probably make this dining room into the kitchen instead and put a dining table on the place where it was a kitchen previously because it looks more appropriate to have a big kitchen rather than a big dining room. Generally, the other layouts are just the same. It's just that there is this one walk-in closet right beside the entrance which I changed it into a kid's bedroom instead because I don't think Sims really need a walk-in closet and I think I prefer to make more room. This house ended up to be 5 bedrooms and 4 bathrooms which is quite sufficient or quite suitable. So here is the second floor. I actually struggled with the second floor to figure out layout that works because the layout is very squarish and then it has a lot of space. It's hard to lay out so that all rooms are accessible from the common area when the sims go up the stairs. So I ended up making the layout a bit smaller at the second floor. So the back of the house has a little bit of texture when I make it smaller and make it easier to roof. Or maybe not, because I think I did struggle with the roofing. I'm not sure what roofing to place on this small place. And then I just ended up not putting a roof instead. I just make it flat with a half wall and I put a compressor on it. Which I think it gives a bit of realistic to the house. I'm trying to make the roof piece in the picture, the small edge at the side there. But I ended up putting the whole roof through instead of two small pieces. So now I'm trying to size down the size of the dining room so that I can fit more kitchen space. I did this one bathroom beside the dining room but I ended up changing it into a half bath too because I feel like there's a lot of bathroom in this house and I don't think it's necessary to have a shower there so it became a half bath. Then I was putting the windows but I don't think the windows are really nice. It looks good from the inside but not the outside. I sometimes feel that it's hard to make the window look nice from the inside and the outside because of the layout like the stairs and the bathroom or maybe just because I'm not good at it. This house has a really decent backyard fan stuff using the most popular fans in the base game I think. I'm extending the second floor a bit and I think that's basically the layout that I use for this house. Oh, I think I did change a bit of the bathroom that is beside the stairs. I made it into a kids room instead of a walk-in closet. This is really one fancy dining room in a small house. It's not really small, it's just the dining room is big compared to the size of the other rooms. Moving on to the dining room, I started to do the dining room first because the dining room is the only place where I place the dining table first. 
so it's bound to be the first room to be decorated. I was tiling the dining room and I decided to use the same floorings for both the first floor and the second floor for like every room and living room just that the second floor has a different color swatch but it's basically the same wood. I also did the same tile and the same wallpaper for all the bathrooms just that it's different color. I kind of like this tile and this wallpaper because it looks really nice and also mainly because they have the matching floor tiles with the wallpaper I did change one of this bathroom into a kid's bedroom because I always have this issue of having too much bathroom in a house because fully functional bathrooms are just a small 3x2 room and it can just fit in many small places in the house I also like this wallpaper and this floor tile when I realized that they are also matching and I start to use them in a lot of my builds. Then I'm working on this dining area. I started to use the get to work but I ended up changing it because generally it just don't look nice. Maybe because this is like an old style house. Get to work might be more suitable for those industrial house. I guess it's going to match the industrial love kit. I'm doing this voice recording just after the announcement of the industrial loft kit and I think the moment when I posted this, the industrial loft kit is probably out. Then this is the kitchen. The kitchen is really really small. One thing about kitchen in The Sims is that the kitchen can be fully functional in just a 3x2 room like a bathroom. In real life, kitchens are just bigger and it's definitely bigger than a toilet. But in The Sims, you just don't need that much space to have a fully functional kitchen. You might not even need to have a sink, you can just have a countertop and then a stove and a fridge and the house is just ready to go. The whole living space is split into the kitchen and the living room. So I feel like the living room is a bit small comparing to the big dining room. That's why I feel like this dining room is just so not appropriate because it's so big comparing to other rooms of the house that are not that big. But actually, this living room is not that small. It's a decent size, but it's just small considering to the overall space inside the house. It has a really wide walk space, which is kind of a waste of space. There's not much things that I could put on these spaces. I think the dining room has the same wallpaper with the living room and I think I used it in a lot of the rooms too. I put a dining table here which I ended up changing it into an island because I think there's no need to have another dining table when there's this dining room with so much seat because not like the Sims are going to fully occupy those seats in the dining room too. I like how the entryway looks with two arcway at both sides. The other arcway leads to the stairs and another small bedroom. I try not to use the sober lights too much and I only use them in the toilets. I use the other lights in the other rooms but they are too dim so I had to place more like wall lamps. So here's the part where I changed the bathroom into a bedroom instead and then I tried to redo the other bathrooms and make it smaller and split it into two. So this kids room has actually an ensuite which is quite good for this kid. And it's actually a pink kids room with some toys in it. Then we have the landscape on both sides of the house to make it look nicer. I also have placed the landscape on the right side of the house to actually cover the wall that looks a bit plain. Never forget our mailbox which main function is to receive bills. Then now we're on to the master bedroom. This is actually the master bedroom but probably it don't really look like a master bedroom. At least it has all in it. It has a study table. I did fit in a study table, I think, at the end. And then it has its ensuite, but basically, almost all room has an ensuite. There's only just two bedrooms that share a bathroom. This bedroom is mainly blue in color with the blue wallpaper and the blue bed. I don't know why I moved that 
so far it looks nice but probably I think painting skill is more important for the sims so this is the biggest bathroom shared by two rooms so I made it bigger I split up the toilet and the bath area the bath is on a platform and I changed the roof face so that it don't clip into the bathroom I changed the bath into a shower bath combo instead I later also include a bathroom cabinet and also a laundry basket in this bathroom that later on when I was putting on more decorations then now we're on to the other room I think this room is more to like some teenager room among all the bedrooms, I personally think that this bedroom has the most decent in size to be a master bedroom just that this room doesn't have its ensuite, it only has a shared bathroom. This room even has the most fanciest window in the house. Moving on to the next room, this room is actually not that small just that it's a bit weirdly shaped so it'll be hard to fit a double bed and I also like the idea of making this room into a twins room so there's two bunk beds and there are study tables and some activities for both of the twins to share I tried to include more activities for the kids but this room is a bit hard to furnish or like put things because there's two doors and you can't lock the door so it's a bit hard to but I did manage to put a dresser with some toys and the activity table the activity table I ended up putting it on the experimental table because the bunk bed is not functional with the drawing table down there I don't know why but I put a small sofa down the bunk bed, the kids sofa and I think it's really cute though I never really tried that before I don't like how these doors are placed but they are the only place for the doors Then moving on to this room This room is not really that small but most of the space I use as a walkway The end of the walkway is a mirror and a dresser and there's this archway with curtains that separates the walkway and kind of makes this like walk-in closet feel with the bathroom it makes this room a little fancy but it's just not that much functional items inside the room I used quite some outdoor lights in this build I placed a lot of them in the landscapes and all and I've been using this rock in all of my builds I just like this rock a lot and this is the kids room that was beside the entryway that it was supposed to be a bathroom and I changed it into a kids room instead and then there's this one and only computer table in the common area of the second floor because like some rooms have this study table but they don't have this computer and that computer is like the only computer in the whole house and this hose is also like a, my favorite decoration item in the backyard as long as I put a backyard I usually have this hose I'm moving on to the backyard the backyard is pretty simple and it's a little bit fancy I would say because there's this bar table and also the grill with a outdoor table I didn't know what kind of turning do I want to put and I was thinking that I'm not doing any back door in the fence so I thought of just putting a turning pin on the whole backyard making it look more fancy and more nice the backyard is a little bit empty, I just placed a chest table and a easel there But I guess it's enough Maybe we can add some other activity items that our sims need So it's pretty much more freedom in the backyard The last thing would be to put some terrain paints under the landscape and under the house And I think that's pretty much all for the build I'll tour the house a bit So this is the front of the house Going to the back of the house then let's go in we have the first kids room so we have the bunk bed here the dresser bookshelf and we have a larvae here then we have the toilet we have our mirror with our sink toilet shower it's really a small bathroom then here is our entryway at the right of the entryway we have this bookshelf and the stairs going upwards then here we have our dining room we have our dining table plant decoration and our photo then we have our living room, small tiny kitchen with our island Then we have this toilet entryway Then we have this master bedroom and the door to the backyard You can have a closer
closer look of the kitchen. We have our fridge, our microwave, dishwasher, trash can, upper cabinets. We have this window with the blind. Then we have a countertop full of clutter items. We have our stove, one long kitchen cabinet. So you can see through to the living room from here. Then let's take a seat. So we have one three-seater, one two-seater, and a single-seater. Then we have our TV, speaker, the jukebox, coffee table, and an end table. Then we are going to the master bedroom. We have our bed, ensuite, dresser, easel to nightstand. Should we go to the second floor first or should we go to the backyard first? I think let's go to the backyard first. So here is our bar table and grill. Then we have our two planter box, outdoor table, and then we have our plant, our tree with some landscape and some outdoor lamps. Then we have our easel, chest table. Then let's go to the second floor. I'll go to the common area first our one and only computer table then we have two windows and two plants here so let's go to the twins room first we have two bunk beds small cute dresser with a tiny clock then we have our study table so we have our cute little kids sofa then we have our bookshelf then activity table i think we'll go to the shared bathroom and we'll move on to the next room this is the biggest bathroom in this whole house we have the shower laundry basket and sink basically sims don't need an empty countertop in the bathroom so the countertop is full of clutter items which makes it a little bit more realistic i guess so this is another bedroom, we have a mirror, dresser, study table, and we have the bed. Then we're going to go to the another fancy room. So we have the bed with two nightstands and we have one sofa. And we have a bookshelf, the only room with its bookshelf. We have this walk-in closet, just like a dressing area. So let's go and have a look. We have the mirrors, there's two mirrors here. The dresser, we have the ensuite bathroom. So I think that's all for the house. Mm -hmm.